Sucky Team C. Oh, I'm lucky here. And before we get to this awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! Story Deck, yu -Gi -Oh, I wanted to go over what I'm calling Summer Madness. And so for Summer Madness, uh, I'm going to be posting a video every day between Simply Unlucky and Simply Roman. So if you're subscribed to both channels, you get a video every single day for summer. And this will probably be about a two-month stretch here because uh, I got some time off from work and school right now. So this is, I'm pretty excited for this. And uh, yeah, so you'll be getting a video every other day if you're subscribed to Simply Unlucky or just Simply Roman. So if you're subscribed to both, you'll be getting a video every day. So it's pretty cool. I'm going to try my best to keep that schedule through the entire summer. Uh, i got a couple places I'll be going, but I'll try my best to keep it up. But yeah, I'm super excited for it, so we're calling it Summer Madness. And uh, yeah, so for simply uh, for Pokemon videos, I'm going to move all Pokemon videos to Simply Roman for the summer, along with any other TCG or trading card games. Uh, so Simply Unlucky will just have Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, along with some other openings that I've kind of been doing before, like... Uh, mystery boxes and uh, care packages. Also, maybe if we get some more Funko boxes in, mystery boxes in, or uh, loot crate, something like that. So, but for card games, we'll keep Simply and Lucky Yu-Gi-Oh. So for you guys, Simply and Lucky will have a video posted every other day for the next, you know, couple months. So I'm pretty excited for that. The summer madness. But yeah, subscribe to both channels if you want to set, uh, a video every day. And eventually, I wanted to try to do a couple vlog type videos. See how that works out. And yeah, that's the plans for that. Also, another big thing I'll be doing for this summer, so this summer madness, by the way, is starting with this video. So tomorrow, Simply Roman, the next day, Simply Unlucky, so be prepared for videos coming out the wazoo. And uh, so also, a big thing I'll be starting is live streaming. And live streaming is something I haven't done probably now for about two years. And it's going to be a little different this time. Um, live streaming, when I used to do it, we were, it was pretty, uh, pretty good, too. I was, I was pretty excited to get like 300 to 500 viewers towards the end there once I was doing it for about a month or two and uh, but yeah I'm gonna do it a little differently this time I'm gonna just kinda more it's gonna be a chill live stream I'm just gonna kinda game like with what games I usually li like to play like League of Legends and Hearthstone maybe an MMO if I pick one up for the summer but yeah just kinda play those games with you guys and just chill and I'll throw in some dueling network duels in there too I know that's what I was doing mainly last time but you know this time it's gonna be more focused on those games but uh... yeah i'm gonna set up the live streaming schedule it will be in the description and uh... of this video and i believe i'll start live streaming sunday so today's saturday so tomorrow i'll start live streaming and all times will be sp pacific time for live streams so uh... yeah it's gonna be pretty epic i'll try to stream at least three to five hours a day five days a week something like that so live streams are gonna be awesome um, yeah so a video every day live streams and uh... Also coming up soon is the uh, Booster Box Battle, Patron Power Booster Box Battle, so that's going to be pretty epic, and uh, yeah, I'm super excited for that, so hopefully you guys are ready for this summer madness that's about to, about to go down, with, starting with this video too, so you guys be ready, I think I mentioned it in my past couple or few videos, you know, that we're going to do something big for summer, I'm going to try to post a video every day and stuff like that, so here it is, starting with the starter deck, Yuya, if you guys have anything, any questions, anything you, any video ideas you guys are interested in me posting for the summer, you know, post those things in the comments below, seriously you guys, post in the comments below, I'm doing my best now that I have more time too to answer comments and questions as you, that you guys have, especially if they're more relevant to what, you know, I'm trying to get across, answers I'm trying to get across to everyone, so yeah, you guys be ready for that, post those comments in below, and uh, yeah, let's get started with this starter deck, Yu Yes. So this is a pretty cool starter deck. Um, thanks to our friends at Ultra Pro, though, we have the beautiful Hatsune Miku playmat, as you can see there. I kind of this is probably my favorite Hatsune Miku playmat though from them. Uh, I just love this picture. It's a very beautiful picture. And we'll also be using our lime green or neon sleeves to go with our little circus type cards here. And uh, yeah, so starter deck, Yu Yes. It's a pretty sweet starter deck. Uh, for you know, it's actually a pretty good starter deck. And because uh, starter decks usually you know are kind of you know, iffy, but if you like pendulum monsters, it's pretty cool, and it goes back to the basics, kind of, for if you're trying to learn the pendulums, and if uh, new players want to play with these new pendulum monsters, but on the back here it says, this starter deck has everything you need to learn how to duel with your friends, including a ready-to-play deck and a beginner's guide to teach you the basics of dueling, including pendulum summoning, as seen on the Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc B, or Arc 5 animated series. So, uh, yeah, and it's also got some hippo tokens inside, and a whole bunch of new performer pals. Let's pop it open. Starter deck, Yuya. All right, and uh, this is just this is a new product, so it did come out recently. For those of you guys that are wondering, and I'll go over some of the foils um, for their effects, kind of see what's going on with that. So there's our beginner's guide, 
and uh, also you have the starter deck play mat here. You got your pendulum zone, your field zone, extra deck, deck zone. I like how they're cut off because it's such a small mat. Interesting. But yeah, so don't really recommend playing with that mat though. You kind of want something a little more soft for your cards. But there's the guy on the front. He is the Pendulum Performer Pal Slight Hand Magician. And no, he's not Pendulum. He's just a Slight Hand Magician. Alright, now that we popped that open, we have to start the Performer Pal Slight Hand Magician. The guy actually looks pretty, pretty sweet. He's got that clown feel going on to him, and he's got all those balls over there. <laughs> and a wand. But yeah, he says here you can special summon this card from your hand by attributing one Performa Pal monster, except the Pendulum monster. Once per turn, you can discard one card, then target one face-up card on the field, and destroy it. So that's Performa Pal Slight Hand Magician. And then we have Performa Pal King Bear. Once during your end phase, this card's effect, if this card was activated, you can destroy this card, and if you do, add one level 7 or higher monster from to your hand from either your graveyard or face-up extra deck. So that's its... Uh, Pendulum effect, and then if, as a monster cannot be destroyed by a spell or trap cards, one face up attack position gains 100 attack for each perform pal card you control during battle phase only. So cool, a couple ultra rares. Perform pal uh, mon mamon carpet. Unless you have a card in your other pendulum zone, destroy this card. Any battle damage you take is half. That's the pendulum effect. Flip. You can target one second on the field and destroy it. If this card is special summon, you can change the face down defense position. Pretty cool effect there. Maman Carpet, Momo Carpet. Perform Pal Parrot Trio, pretty cool. Once per turn, if you control the Perform Pal Magician or Odd Eyes card in your Pendulum Zone, except Perform Pal Parrot Trio, you can make this card's Pendulum skill become seven. Cool. When this card is destroyed by battle, you can special summon a Perform Pal Monster from your deck, except Pendulum, a Pendulum Monster. And Perform Pal Long Phone Bowl. That's actually kind of a clever idea. <laughs> uh, if this card is special summon, you can add a Perform Pal monster from your deck to your hand, except Pendulum Monster. You can only use this guy's effect once per turn. Cool. So, more Perform Pals. And then for other new cards, you got Perform a Pal Swing Cobra. So it's on a swing. It's an interesting concept. <laughs> I like the uh, heart tongue. Uh, Perform Pal Teeter Totter Hopper. Another very. <laughs> Interesting concept for the performer vows. It's got two dudes as one hopper teetering about. Odd eyes pendulum dragons in here, and you know, before that, let's sleeve these bad boys up. So, some pretty cool foils here. It's definitely fun for the uh, newer players to mess around with. These are pro mat sleeves from Ultra Pro, by the way. But yeah, it's definitely some fun cards to play with for those newer players. And. So yeah, Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragons here, another great card. Stargazer Magician and Time Gazer Magicians from the last starter deck, I believe. Perform Pal Drummerilla. Perform Pal Second Donkey. Hip Hippo, uh, Falcott's Cannon. Cool. Archfiend Eccentric, so there he is. The, uh, probably the main reason why experienced players are buying this starter deck, so get their common Archfiend Eccentric, because that guy is really good, and Actually, he isn't very easy to get, too, because he was, what, secret rare and gold so far? But, yeah, so it's uh, Archfiend Eccentric, if you guys don't know what he does. Three stars, and his uh, pendulum effect is you can target one other spell or trap card on the field and destroy both it and this card. You can only use this effect once per turn, so that's a pretty good effect. And then you contribute this card for its monster effect. It says you contribute this card, then target one monster on the field and destroy it. And you can only use that effect once per turn. So, I mean, you don't really can't really go wrong with playing this guy. He can be in a lot of different decks, too. Archfiend Eccentric. Gene Warped to Warwolf. This Warwolf was given incalculable strength through horrific genetic manipulation. Its gentle nature was completely wiped out and now lives only to unleash destruction. Beast King Barbaros, Pitch Black Warwolf, got both Warwolves. Dragon Dowser, Giant Rat, Perform Pal Dramatic Theater. Got some field spells for your Perform Pals. Cool. Smile World. All face up monsters currently on the field gain 100 attack for each monster currently on the field until the end of the turn. Okay. Smile world. Smile. Hippo carnival. <laughs> These cards. Draw muscle. Mystical space typhoon. Lightning vortex. 
I don't know why they didn't put Regeki in here. You would think they would put Regeki and not Lightning Vortex. That would definitely have made this people buy the Star Deck. Maybe Regeki is a little too good to put in here. So we don't have a common Regeki, do we? I don't think so. That would have been insane. That would have been a really good starter deck. This would have like sold out everywhere. It's been like a $5 common Regeki. Book of Moon. All Lucky Iron. Axe Burden of the Almighty. I like that card. Backup Rider. Cool. Perform Pal Showdown. Ooh, I like the, uh, the Magician. Or the Clown or whatever in the middle. That's cool. Perform Pal Pinch Helper. Wall of Disruption, Ceasefire, Regeki, Rygeki, Break, Draining Shield, Threatening Roar, and Dark Bribes in here, that's cool. Chaos Burst, Pendulum Reborn, and your Hippo Tokens. Another reason why many people are purchasing this starter deck to get their Hippo Tokens. This card can be used as a Hippo Token. If used for another token, apply that token's type and attribute and level and attack. <laughs> okay. But yeah, so there's your hippo tokens. Overall, pretty cool star deck, you guys. I would definitely re recommend picking one up if you're new to the game and you want to check out the new pendulum summoning mechanic if you have not already. It's definitely a good deck for that. Um, for the experienced players, uh, got to get your Archfina centric and your Lightning Vortex. <laughs> um, but overall, yeah, definitely a cool deck. I think most places will be selling this for eight to ten dollars, so that's pretty. That's pretty good price for a star deck too, especially with a common Archfiend Cetric inside. So, not bad. Once again, you guys prepare for summer madness. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be epic. And a video every other day on Simply Unlucky, and a video every other day on Simply Roman. Meaning, if you're subscribed to both channels, that's a video every single day. And uh, so it's gonna be crazy, you guys. And if you need to subscribe to Simply Roman, there'll be a link in the description below. There'll also be a link in the description below for the live stream. The live stream I'll, I'll be trying to do pretty much every day, but let's just say around five days a week. The live stream schedule will be a little dynamic. Um, I'll try and post on Facebook and Twitter, you know, when I start the live stream. But basically for tomorrow, I'll be doing the first live stream. Uh, it'll start around. 12 to 3 p.m. Pacific time every time I live stream. That's kind of the time I'll start. And so what I'm trying to do is post that video, whether it's Simply Unlucky or Simply Roman, because I'll be posting video every single day. Um, I'm going to post that video before I live stream. So the video will be posted around, you know, 12 to 3, and that's when I'll start the live stream too. So basically, that's how it's going to go down. It's going to be awesome, you guys. And, uh, I can't wait. So the live stream, guys, is simply in Lucky TV, and uh, so be ready for that. You know, it's gonna be fun, and I'll just hang out with you guys, play some games. It'll be a good time. And simply, oh, Lucky, signing out.